All right, before we start shooting this video with X and his, I was about to say FRS, but BRZ, we're gonna eat some Mom. sandwiches, bun mies, and seven some leaves? seven leaves. We're good. <laughs> it's hella good. Oh, yeah. Shit. I was doing good. I went from 120 to like 150. Boom. And you spend on like three or four months. Oh my God. back again X is over there this is his car and my first impressions of his car is super simple and I love it if you want to know more and you have a FRS or BRZ this will be a nice overview if you want to do anything similar to your car let's start with the obvious the crazy stance about this car up front what makes him have this super prominent camber is out of systems top hats and those are kind of hard to get a hold of so if you can swoop them up and you have crazy fitment like this <laughs> also X got a new wheel set up too and the rear is really just lower arms by stance two great companies out of system and stance and the whole car is on Fortunato coilovers but X what do you got for wheel and tire setup all right so up front we have 21540 yeah uh, the wheel specs themselves are 18 by nine and a half plus 41 offset. Mm -hmm. I'm running the 50 mil in the front, so effective offset is negative nine. Oh yeah, and that's the rears, a fat boy. <laughs> in the rears, I'm running 225, 40. Oh, okay. Mil, so. And like the main purpose of this build is more... Uh, main uh, purpose, uh, just like, I don't know, a comfortable daily. I wanted to go for an, like a more a more mature approach, I'd say. Yeah. It's OEM plus, TRD style, mm -hmm. nothing crazy, just simple. Mm -hmm. I really love the look because his car used to be white. Disappeared for a bit and now it's black. <laughs> all black. It sure is a comfortable daily because we drove all around town getting bun me sandwiches at a certain spot, seven leaves, um, all around San Jose. And this thing barely scraped. We even didn't even see a speed bump and accidentally went over it, but nothing really happened. And this thing's a champ. <laughs> also, if you guys didn't know, X does have his own brand too, under the radar. It's still being established, so if you need one of these stickers, they can be bought through Instagram. And these are dope because he has a little theme going on too. If you look over here, the little theme he got going on is uh, black reflective. So uh, I think the whole purpose is to be a little under low key. the radar, low key. Radar, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of more subtle, which is like perfectly my taste too. So I really love it. Another thing, this build incorporated a lot of friends. Friends in the Bay Area like RJ, Marcus, Ethan, everyone in between. Yep, so. Shout out RJ. Yep. They're all RJ family here. <laughs> help me wrap the car. Um, yeah. Help me with the build. Quality job. Oh. Bye <laughs> oh, no. bye. Something with FRS slash BRZ builds too is I always get the mi names mixed up, and what makes it even more confusing with this one it has an FRS bumper, but it's a BRZ. Still looks dope though. <laughs> and um, as for like the back of the car, we do have some cool tail lights. I don't really know much about these, but uh, X. Um, they're called calling tail lights. All in TYCs. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually got them off my friend Thomas. I think he sourced them through Kruber. Yeah. They're pretty rare. I, I know a lot of people have been customing OEM taillights and other things. But um, yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kruber? You got these off Kruber? My friend did, yeah. Oh, dang. And it gives it a very nice monochrome look. When his car was white too, it looked very sick. 
Alright. No more wiggle. Oh. A lot of wiggle. <laughs> well, that's essentially all for this video. We're pretty much done chilling, but it's farewell from me and X. And we'll see you when we see our friend Ethan's car. We're back Same car, here. but different. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. Later from X's car too. Peace. I started Dude, recording. This does, yeah, this, it doesn't even matter. We'll delete this one. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. That's good. Just say like, hey guys, um, we're back now. And, but in San Diego, we got the coupe. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime now. Yeah. I'm still with X. And we got Brandon and Ethan out here. Look it. Same exact car that we started off the video with, but a little bit different. Well, this isn't X's car. X, what's your favorite thing about right. Ethan's Aside from Ethan's FRS. Chrome XC7s, I'd probably say that the carbon fiber spoiler really sets him different, or I don't know, just like a little bit different from other ZN6 builds. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. I think for me though, it would be the color because it matches my Sylvia. Ethan. Tell me more about this car. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's my Scion FRS or Toyota, whatever you want to call it. He gets my all the bitches. My favorite part about this car is probably the interior, so let's check it out. We oh, got yeah. Bride Zeta 2 bucket seat, nice head pad, Nardi mm -hmm. with the full works bell setup. Okay. Yes sir. And then, it looks you know, super comfy. It does, it's very comfy. And then the <laughs> Gretty shift knob. Not only the interior, I kind of like just how I like set up the car. Actually, let, let's come back to the interior. This is very, oh, this sticker right here explains everything. 180 style. 180 style. Did you make that? I bought that. Oh, you bought that? Yes. But this is what you made, right? Yes, sir. Nice. But that, that pretty much sums up the whole car. It's definitely, Heavily S chassis inspired, so. Yeah, I could see that. You know, just a nice street build. How about what people can't see, which yeah. is so suspension? So the, the suspension, I'm on BC Racing coilovers, and I have Swift Spring upgrade. Uh, they're four inch springs. And I think I'm, I'm running the 20Ks in the front and then 18K in the back. So pretty stiff setup, but still dailyable. Mm -hmm. And then in the back here, I have the, I know you can't see it, but we have the PVM uh, solid subframe risers and the diff risers, which helps with the axle geometry. Because when you lower these cars, you know, the, it's looking like this. So <laughs> you start breaking a lot of axles. So mm -hmm. that's probably my favorite part. Um, you're able to get this kind of fitment without just, you know, blowing through axles. Yeah. And then some other things that people can't really see, the exhaust tip. I have a full gritty cat back. But I really like the turn down tip. I think it just adds that extra little, little spice. A little flair. Well, I think that's enough talking. And now let's show off the car and how it rides from the outside. This is actually Ethan's first day on this wheel setup too. He yes. does have another car. It's a GS. The FRS was actually on jack stands right before this, but we swapped the wheels. And GS is a little bit on the back burner. The style's still here. <laughs> Just for the video. What we're doing right now is charging up his wheels. Let's see it guys. They have a special technique. Damn boy! Eve! Damn. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hey!